Hi, and welcome to MixCraft. As you begin using MixCraft, you'll want to optimize your computer for the best audio performance it can provide. In this video, I am going to demonstrate some of the issues you might run into and possible solutions to those issues, and also demonstrate how to optimize your PC for great audio recording and playback performance. The first common issue I will address is called latency. Latency is usually not an issue unless you wish to monitor incoming audio. What this means is to hear through the computer speakers what you are recording as you record it, otherwise known as real time. I have my guitar connected to my computer through an audio interface. Let's arm track one to record the guitar. This is what MixCraft will hear and record as you play. Which is fine, but since I am not connected to a guitar amplifier, I wish to hear what I am recording in real time. So I'll check the monitor incoming audio selection. Now I'll play some notes. Notice there is now a delay between the time I play the note and the time the computer plays it back. This happens because your computer's sound card is unable to process incoming and outgoing audio simultaneously. Here are some steps we can take to try to lower or eliminate latency. First we'll go into MixCraft Preferences by clicking File, Preferences, and in the Sound Device area, notice I have the Wave Driver selected. Also notice that MixCraft displays latency in milliseconds. We are currently at 278 milliseconds. In order to lower that, I am going to lower the number of buffers and lower the buffer size. We'll lower the buffer size. That gets us down to 139 milliseconds. And we'll see how that sounds. There's still a delay but it's not quite as long. So we'll go back into preferences and we'll lower the number of buffers. Right now we're at 12. Take that down to 8. Notice it lowers the latency to 92 milliseconds. We'll try that. It's better but still not quite acceptable. Back to preferences. Lower that down to 5 and we're at 58 milliseconds. It's almost okay, but notice there's a slight crackling starting to happen. That's because your computer's processor now has to take over and help the sound card. You need to find a happy medium between crackling and latency if you're going to use the wave driver. I found that number of buffers set to 8, buffer size 2048, 92 milliseconds is okay for me. If you are using Windows Vista or Windows 7, you will have the option to use the Wave RT driver. The RT stands for Real Time, which is a built-in Windows sound driver that allows for lower latency than Wave does on just about any sound card. So if you do need to monitor incoming audio, but the Wave driver isn't quite doing the job for you, you'll want to try Wave RT. If you are using Windows 7 and you switch to Wave RT, you can try exclusive mode for latency less than 20 milliseconds. Activating exclusive mode requires MixCraft to take exclusive control of your sound device. Other applications will not be able to play audio while MixCraft is in use. This allows you to lower latency to best suit your needs. Lastly, if you have a sound card or audio interface installed which comes with an ACO driver, you can try that too. The ACO driver is made specifically for your sound device and can deliver ultra low or no latency at all. I will switch to the ACO driver for my M audio card and again arm the track to record my guitar. Select monitor incoming audio. Notice there is practically no latency at all. If you have a sound device which came with an ACO driver, you can select ACO, 
click Open Mixer, which will call up your ACO device control software. Here you can adjust samples or buffers for latency control. Noises such as crackling, breaking up, or lagging happen because your computer's processor is unable to work fast enough to keep up with the demands within your current project. While Mixcraft offers unlimited tracks and unlimited effects per track, every computer has its limit as to how much work it will be able to perform smoothly. If you are experiencing these types of issues, you can raise the buffer settings within Mixcraft preferences to help eliminate this. Here I have a project which uses 18 tracks, with an average of 7 effects per track as well as 4 global effects. Notice how it breaks up and lags as it's played back. To compensate for this, I can go into Mixcraft Preferences under the Sound Device section and raise the number of buffers. Now we'll play that back. Raising the buffers helps alleviate some of the stress on the computer's CPU. In Windows 7, if using exclusive mode in Wave RT, simply raise the latency setting a few milliseconds to help solve crackling or gapping issues. In order to free up processor resource for use while recording with Mixcraft, make sure to shut down any running programs you don't need to use at the time. I have a project open in Mixcraft which is using 50 tracks. Notice the bottom right corner of the Mixcraft window shows how much CPU resource Mixcraft is currently using. It also shows how much CPU resource in total is being used by your system. Notice the total is now about 73%. I'll close all other programs on my computer in order to gain CPU resource. I'll close the minimized programs which show in the taskbar, and I'll also close other programs which run in the system tray. With all other programs closed, the system CPU usage has gone down considerably. This will allow your computer to run Mixcraft much more smoothly. Additionally, you may want to consider disabling your antivirus software while recording audio. While antivirus software is crucial for maintaining your computer's safety, it is also very heavy on system resource. Most antivirus applications show an icon in the computer's system tray, which you can generally use to disable the software temporarily. Make sure you don't check email or browse the internet while your antivirus software is disabled. The RPM speed of your hard drive can also play a part in smooth recording operation. You may want to upgrade a slower hard drive with a 7200 RPM serial ATA drive. While external hard drives are great for backup use, it is not recommended to set Mixcraft's recording directory to an external USB hard drive. USB drives are much slower than serial ATA or IDE internal hard drives and may cause lag in your recordings. If you are currently using a USB connected audio interface and are facing lag issues when recording, you may want to consider purchasing an audio interface which connects using FireWire. FireWire is about five times faster than USB 2.0. Some things you can do within Mixcraft if you are having issues such as skipping, lagging, or crackling. Here again is my 50 track project. We'll have a listen to it and see if it has an issue playing back. Obviously, that's unacceptable. In order to lighten the load on my CPU, I'll first raise the buffers within Mixcraft Preferences. Currently, the number of buffers is set to 4. I'll raise that to 8 and see if it sounds okay now.
Another thing I can do to lighten the load on the processor is to freeze tracks that I am not currently working on. Right click on any track you want to freeze and select freeze track. This creates a temporary audio file with the track effects included. This allows Mixcraft to play back the track without having to render effects in real time. To unfreeze the track later, right click and choose unfreeze track. You can also set Mixcraft to conserve CPU mode, making it less demanding on your computer's graphics. Click File, Preferences, and in the Display section, click Conserve CPU Mode. Using less effects per track will also help your project playback more smoothly. In cases where you have the same effect used on multiple tracks, you could instead create a send track and then use the track automation to apply it to multiple tracks. To create a send track, right click anywhere on a track, insert new track, send track. Apply the effect that you want to the send track. Choose the parameter of that effect that you would like to manipulate. and on the tracks you would like that effect to appear on, click the automation button, select the send track, we now have that delay on two tracks with only one instance of the delay effect being used. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. I hope it helps you create smooth flawless projects and once again welcome to Mixcraft.